Hey guys, I'm just continuing straight on. We're now up to point six, where we're going to find the loads and modes for particular cases. So, in the previous videos, we got to this stage here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at particular cases. So, for n equals one, so subbing in one, we would have, I'm going to call this p subscript one equals n squared, which is one squared, which is just one. So, we'd have pi squared ei on l squared, and we would have v1. So subbing in n equals 1 here, we would have b sine n is 1, so pi x on l. For n equals 2, I'm just going to do three cases. For n equals 2, so n squared would be 4. So p2 would equal 4 pi squared ei on l squared. And v2 would equal b sine n equals 2, subbing it in, would be 2 pi x on l. For n equals 3, p3 would equal n squared, so 3 squared, so 9, pi squared ei on l squared. And v3 would equal b sine, subbing in for n, 3 pi x on l. Um, what I'm going to do as well is just find the corresponding periods. Okay, So we know that period is equal to, so I'll just call this little p1, is equal to, 2 pi on b, so this would be 2 pi on pi on l, which would equal um, 2 l. Okay, the period here using the similar formula would be we would get l, and the period for 3 would be 2 on 3 l. So you're going to see what these periods mean in a second when I draw it up. So we're now going to show what all this means graphically, and I'm going to give you an actual understanding of what these mean. So I'm going to draw a graph. So this is um, length, and this is the buckled shape. I'm going to put pi squared ei on l squared up the top there. Now we had p1 equals pi squared ei on l, p2 4, and p3.